The drop in early turnout was anticipated by elections officials, and it was part of the plan for some voters we talked to today in Randallstown on this day seven of early voting statewide. And I, and I planned it just this way so that hopefully the lines would be down. The weather was a little rough. And even left and went home, came back and brought my son. So he's in there now voting. As thousands of Marylanders voted early on Sunday, political activists from the two major parties work to reach people who haven't yet. We're having a rally for Trump. We're trying to create the enthusiasm that we need. Baltimore County Republicans rallied in Kingsville in person to get out the vote. A closing argument for the status quo. President Donald Trump, these supporters say, means freedom, fewer regulations, a better economy. I've been here for 57 years. I love Kingsville. I want to keep it the way it is. And especially business owners. They want to be able to run their business. They want this uh, shutdown to go away. And let's get back to being normal again. Maryland Democrats Sunday went online to energize voters across the country and in key swing states. And we've been calling uh, Georgia, Wisconsin, Florida. I can't keep track of them all. Virtual phone banking and a high profile Zoom pep talk from strategist Donna Brazil. It feels good and it feels good because I know so many of our young people are voting. The infrequent voters, those who uh, I like this election, but I don't like this election, but we can bring this one home. Democrats today expressing confidence and excitement while stressing it's not over until all the ballots are in and all the ballots are counted. And to make sure we see victory on Tuesday, we don't want to leave any stone unturned moving into the most important election of our lifetimes. Monday is the final full day of early voting in Maryland. The early polls will be open statewide from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then, of course, Election Day proper is on Tuesday. In Randallstown, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.